Well, today is Tip Tuesday, and I have a tip for you about your kids' chore charts. Hi, I'm Lorraine Brock, professional organizer and owner of a company here in Dallas-Fort Worth called Get Organized, where we actually go into your home and organize your playrooms, your toy rooms, your kids' closets, and really the entire home. All right, on today's topic, I love kids' chores because what it really does is take things off of my plate and put them on my kids. And they've got to learn these skills anyway. So it's a great time to start, particularly when they're really young, but they should have very good um, chores to do, like, you know, pretty hearty chores to do by the time they're in kindergarten, if not uh, a little bit before. Now, obviously age appropriate. I'm gonna leave um, some ideas for you guys about what type of chores you might leave your kids and a little bit of idea on the system. Now. Down below is gonna be a couple links from Amazon of some kids' chore charts that I would recommend, and feel free to look at those. But also you can go to the internet and do a search for kids' printable free charts and often find a, an array of colorful um, kids' chore charts that you can print on cardstock and you can fill out with your kid's name and handwrite in there, or some of them may even allow you to type what chores you want your kids to do. So a couple things I want to mention, first of all, is you first want to sit down with yourself and have you list what you want each of your kids to do. Like what responsibilities, age appropriate, would you really like to get off your plate and hand it over to them? Once you have that list, the next thing you're going to do is decide the frequency in which you want them to do the chore. Is it going to be daily, Monday through Friday? Is it just going to be one day a week? Is it going to be all on the weekends? You need to decide that based on how busy and available your family's schedule is. Now, once you have those things written down and you know what you want to put on the chore uh, chart, you, now you need to decide what chore chart you're going to get. Whatever you get, you need to make sure it's very visible to a kid. You need to have it uh, probably in multiple locations of the home. If you have a two-story home, upstairs, downstairs. If you have a one-story home, it might be in two opposite ends of the home. And make sure that you are giving them very visual uh, reminders of these are their chores on what days. And for younger kids, you may have to use pictures more than words. One of the ideas you could do is if you come in through a garage door, you might keep a, a chore chart or a note there, a chore reminder to actually do your chores when you walk in uh, from an activity or even school. So think of very creative ways and locations. It can absolutely be on the refrigerator door, but it probably needs to be elsewhere in the home. Just whatever you do, don't make the system so complicated that you have to reward them every single time that they do something or add something to a jar because the system needs to be very low maintenance on you or you're probably not going to stick with it. And that is our tip for Tip Tuesday this week. I am Lorraine Brock, helping you get your home, business, and life completely organized.